And welcome back to Refrastos. Um, once again, we're working on the L322 Range Rover. Um, so, this car is fitted with a fuel burning heater, like all TDV8s and most of the diesels. However, mine was also fitted with the um, remote start function. But, doesn't work. Never has worked. Um, now I know why, and I do know what to fix it and make it work, because, you know, these cold winter mornings, it'd be nice just to press the button and come out to a warm car. Um, yeah, if you've got it, you might as well use it. So let's just go through a minute the wiring, what's in the system, how it should work, and how we can test what the faulty part is. Um, bear in mind, this will only apply if your full fuel burner heater actually works. There's a million other reasons why it wouldn't work, and fortunately mine does work, which is rare. Um, so if your heater doesn't kick in at all when you start the car up from cold, you need to get that fixed before you move on to this stage. So, let's go. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a multimeter, you're going to need your keys, and you're going to get, want to get in the back of your Air 2 here and come around here. So now if you have the remote start feature, you'll have this telestart module here, which is your Webasto telestart T91. So you've got that unit there, and that is what receives the signal and turns the heater on. And then you've got this bit wire in here. Mine is uh, red with a black stripe, uh, solid black it appears to be, and then I've got a white with a green stripe. Uh, now what this is on my one is red is the positive 12 volt, black is the ground, and the white and green is the switch live. So that should have 12 volts go down to it when you press your button on your remote to start the fuel burning heater. Um, your colours might vary, but the pinout will be the same. So, it's these three pins you want. And what we're going to do in a minute is we're just going to check if we have 12 volt going to this module to start with. So I've unplugged it. I'll try and set you guys up a minute a little bit here. Um... Right, as you can see there we have 12.84 volts. So, that is correct. So we've got power to our module. Um, but we know our module doesn't work. So, what we can do in a minute is we can now try and be sneaky and we can link out the 12 volt to the switch live that's meant to turn the heater on and see what happens here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wedge a bit of cable in the front or back of this connector. Wedge in there. Now I can hear something happening. You can hear my fuel burning heater kicking in. And then what about in the car? Ah! Vents are on. So we've got some ventilation. Now that should start to warm up in a second. Now that is a really good sign. Because all we've done here now is we've just tested that all this wiring works and that the fuel burning heater side of it is working. So our only issue can be down with this one here, or the remote. Should I undo this a minute? Now we stop. Perfect. So we're happy with that. So what's our next steps now? Well, I think our next steps is going to be reprogramming this one. Because I know it doesn't do anything. This does appear to have some battery in it. Whether it's strong enough or not, I don't know. But I think we should try and reprogram it. See what happens next. If not, it's likely to be a faulty remote or faulty telestart module. Right, so I've dug out the instructions for the telestart module, and first thing I'm going to try and do is repair this. So the telestart module is plugged in, and what it tells us to do is put a battery on transmitter if it's not already been done, um, find the fuse, or in this case it's going to be the wiring connector for me because it's just easier, um, and then what we essentially want to do is undo the power put the power back in within five seconds. Within Once the power is re-enabled, after two seconds, press the off button, but before six seconds is up. Um, so that might be a bit fiddly, but I'm gonna give it a go a minute and see what happens. So let's unplug it. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, right. What's that now done? Anything? Oh, there we go. Done. 
Simple as that. Green light works. <laughs> that was too easy. We're off. Turn off a minute. So he goes off. That was way too easy. Right. So, whilst you're here, I might as well. I'll try and put a copy of this in the description. But. So the LED displays, um, if the green light or red light come on for one or, or for two seconds, when you press the buttons, that means the remote's working. If they flash green or red, um, up top here, quickly, for um, two seconds, that means that the, either it's too far away, or that the um, it's not programmed, which was what I had beforehand. Um, if it lights up orange for two seconds, the battery's getting dead, um, or if it flashes orange for five seconds, the battery's pretty much dead, or nothing. The battery really is dead. <laughs> but wow, that all it needed to do be reprogrammed. So that was easy. So I'm going to put this in the description because this is a really handy document here from Webasto. Yeah, that's that's fixed. Right, well that seemed to be far too easy. Um, hopefully that makes sense. That's just the basics of testing the Telestart T91 module there um, and testing if the wiring back to your heater works just by bridging the permanent 12 volt to the switch 12 volt. And for me it worked perfect. And then just a simple um, reprogram procedure, which again worked far too easy. Same as like when I uh, reprogrammed a new key to a car. First time lucky. Some people have absolute nightmares with it, but I don't know, it worked. So either way, I'm over the moon. Not only now from the previous video, I got heating in the car, I've now also got remote heating. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself soon. It's just too nice. But yeah, if, that, if this video seems to have helped you, then um, why not stick around, like the video, subscribe for plenty more content, um, tell me what you think in the comments, and with any luck, I'll see you again next time for either a modification, an upgrade, maintenance, or another repair. I've been Jordan, cheers.